non-parametric tests. In this session, we will be discussing about run test. Run test is used to examine the randomness of data. We will see an example. The run test can be explained with an example of tossing a fair coin where the probability of getting a head or a tail is equal. Suppose we denote head by 1 and tail by 0 and record the outcomes in the database. I am using in this example PSP software and the outcomes are recorded as given on the screen. When a coin is tossed, the tail outcome is recorded as 0 and the head outcome is recorded as 1 and 50 the coin is tossed and the outcome in each case is recorded. Now I want to check the randomness of occurring of this head or tail. To check this randomness we use run test. Before we start the run test I want to uh, make a hypothesis, null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is the sample is randomly selected and after doing this test we will uh, either accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis. I am doing the analysis using a PSPP. In analysis I am going for non-parametric statistics in this I am selecting run a pop-up menu in the pop-up menu select tossing coin and select mean and say ok I got the result of run test as follow the total test value mean is 0 0.5 because probability is 50 50 percent of occurring a head or a tail number of cases occurred less than mean is 25 number of cases occurred more than or equal to mean is 25 total number of cases is 50 and the number of runs are 32 what is meaning of runs in this case is the occurring is called run so tail one time occurred it is one run head one time occurred it is two run and tail has occurred continuously two times so this is third run fourth run head one time occurred fourth run again tail occurred two times it is fifth, five, fifth run and this is sixth run seventh and head two times eight so this continuous occurring is called as runs so in this form in our case we got 32 runs and the significant z value is 1.71 significant value is 0 0.086 now if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis else we accept the null hypothesis so in our case since the value is greater than 0 0.05 we are accepting the null hypothesis that is the sample is randomly selected I'll just summarize once again if the significant value is less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis in our case the value is 0 0.08 which is greater than 0 
so i am accepting the null hypothesis that is the sample is randomly selected okay let me do the same experiment same run test with another example in this case i am selecting student specializations in a college in a placements the placement department is placing students in a sequence of three specializations finance hr and marketing and totally 49 59 students are placed in a month and we want to know whether these people who are been placed by specialization is it randomly occurring or not random or non randomly occurring so we can use a run test so to see whether it is random or not random so i am doing the same analysis my hypothesis null hypothesis is the students are placed randomly of specialization specialization wise they are placed randomly that is my null hypothesis i am conducting the experiment uh, analysis i'll go for analysis non parametric statistics run select the specialization select the mean and say okay this is outcome test value mean is 1.66 there are three specializations marketing finance and hr so the mean of is 1.66 number of cases less than the value mean is 31 cases number of cases more than or equal to the mean value is 28 total cases are 59 and the number of runs are 40 z value is 2.56 and the significant value is 0.012 we already discussed if the significant value is less than 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis in our case the significant value is 0.012 which is less than 0.05 so i am rejecting the null hypothesis that is students are not placed randomly in the placements the students are not placed randomly in the placements that is three specializations are there they are not placed randomly but they are placed non randomly so this is how we can use a run test to check whether randomness of the sample selected is there or not